everybody. Welcome to On the Edge of Entertainment, where I am inviting my talented friends to come and talk about the entertainment business and the things that they're doing now. And today I have a very dear friend to me, someone who I've worked with for years and someone who has kind of two facets to their, uh, their life. One is entertainment and one is in healing. So I'm going to have my friend Lori Russo on the show. Everybody, welcome, Lori. Hey, everybody. So happy to be here. Such an honor to be here, Cody. Thank you for asking me. Well, you're welcome. I just want to point out that you have toured nationally with shows such as 42nd Street, Meet Me in St. Louis, Elvis Lives, you know, just to name a few. And you work regionally across the country um, doing acting, choreography, and directing. Um, I've known you in the capacity of uh, we've got to work together where you are paying a tribute to and acting as a, an artist, um, a former artist, who is um, Anne Margaret. Anne and Margaret. I got to tell you, Lori is the best actress, and she really does a fantastic job at that. And uh, I want to I want to play some video of that. Are you you want to do you mind if I play some video about it? <laughs> OK, here we go. I'm going to share the screen. Oh, my goodness. it there Gosh. that was a lot of fun that tour and I um, that was my good friend Kevin Mills of course who I got to share the stage with uh, during that show doing uh, the tribute to the movie era uh, with Anne Margaret and Elvis so anyway thank you amazing you and Kevin there Wow what a hot scene what a great show and I, I just love that you can sing and act. I mean, you just, you really take everything that you do very seriously. And I really respect that about you. You've all, you also have a very business minded um, way about you. And you've oftentimes even been able to manage the artists um, involved in the, the shows that I've done, which I know is not an easy task, but you have so many uh, skill sets that it's just awesome that you're able to thank you, to you all yeah. that wearing a lot of hats sometimes do you know i don't know if it's a blessing or a curse to be as you do you know as well you are <laughs> also incredibly business-minded and organized and do like a million characters beautifully um, oh thank you Lori. um where you live um what were you doing right before all this happened Oh my gosh. Well, I'm 
currently living in Sacramento, California, um, and uh, I'm part of the um, theater community here. They have a few uh, 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 professional regional theaters here, and I had been actually scheduled to play the role of Charlotte in um, a production of A Little Night Music, Stephen Sondheim's A Little Night Music, which I had been, oh my goodness, looking forward to. And unfortunately, the season had to be canceled because of you know, all the challenges we are all experiencing as artists here um, with this COVID-19. So that was kind of a big blow, but um, you know, hopefully another time I'll be able to maybe play the role again someplace else. It was gonna be at Sacramento Theater Company, which is a, a beautiful theater up here in, uh, if you've never been to it in Sacramento. Oh, very nice. Yes, I too, you know, I pretty much had the entire year booked, which is kind of unusual. It was going to be a pretty stellar year. And I was kind of excited because as entertainers, we hustle so much to get the jobs. And so by March, I was booked through, um, through uh, New Year's Eve. And I thought, wow, this is going to be such a great year because I'm already booked and I don't have to try to drum up work, you know, like we do. So it's it's unfortunate. And um, but, you know, it gives us a time to reflect, which brings me to this next thing that you do that is so fascinating. And I have had the um, opportunity to take advantage of uh, your Reiki healing. Is that how you say it? Reiki, because it's amalgamation of two words, uh, Reiki is uh, spiritual healing, energy healing, and it's a system of natural healing for not only the physical body, but the mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. And Ki is the second half of the word K-I, much like Chi in um, the Japanese. Oh, okay. Uh, meaning uh, energy. So in the first uh, part of the word is Rei, R-E-I, which means transcendent or spiritual or great. Uh, and so they put it together, spiritual energy, transcendent life force energy, however people feel comfortable with utilizing it, but it just utilizes um, the life force energy that is it within us, all around us at all times. And we as Reiki uh, practitioners uh, are trained to raise the vibration within and around the body to help accelerate or support uh, healing of whatever is needed at the time with um, Hopefully, if you use a specificity of an intention, that it can get right to the root of it or right to the core uh, more quickly. And it's a beautiful modality that um, is a, a popular complementary modality these days. Uh, even in uh, hospitals and in medicines are using it, Medicine, medical facilities and practitioners are using it as well. Finally, I mean, um, I can attest to what this uh, practice does. I want to tell the story. I don't know if you remember this, Lori, but we were working together and I had a pinched nerve in my neck. And remember. <laughs> I, you remember? And I knew that you did this. And I'm also just, I, I'm very um, open to, uh, you know, Eastern uh, philosophies of healing. And yeah. I just, I wanted help you know i was desperate right because we were in the middle of a show we had another show to do so i remember right. in between shows i came to you and i said Lori, i don't know if you can do just a little session on me or something but i have this pinched nerve and i i really need help so we were just sitting there and you you did your mojo <laughs> you used your hands and your energy and you can explain what you did but in the end it totally got rid of it and you know pinch nerves they last for days yeah. and um it was a beautiful thing and and i was sold i was a fan and i've had many sessions from you after that that i can say are very beneficial i am so glad you know the thing that i think the biggest benefit from reiki that people get is a very uh, profound experience of a grounded quality as well as a sort of expanded awareness quality and it's very meditative in a way and it's self-organizing meaning that the energy kind of knows exactly where it needs to go and even though you may have a particular need whether it's a physical acute condition like you did in the moment uh, or uh, more sort of esoteric or um, spiritual desire uh, for the energy to kind of move gently through you because it's very non-invasive and yet it's very powerful. Um, it, it kind of knows exactly 
how to very subtly work on those levels of energy to raise the vibration to make a clearing and a balance so that you your own body and your own mind and spirit can begin to sort of surrender if you will to a healing in whatever capacity and move you gently forward in life uh, to have more feeling of grounded, more focus, more energy. Uh, it deals with anxiety, all kinds of myriad of things that it's profoundly uh, able to gently and kind of very lovingly um, uh, utilize our life force energy to really kind of uh, assist ourselves. Do you think that um, you have to be open to it or a believer to get the benefit? Because I know for myself, I am able to do that. I'm able to, like, even if I am getting a massage and I have a serious problem, sometimes I feel like I do telepathy to the the person so I'm not irritating them. Like, no, 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 it's over there. It's a little... That's yeah. interesting. But yeah. yeah, and I feel like there's an energy between um, two people in a healing mo modality that um, that you can assist the person with or open up for the healing. And so I just wondered, I had that question. Yeah, um, you are exactly right. Well, of course, if there, you know, where there are more minds, more, more participants, the better the outcome, the stronger uh, the result. Um, however, uh, even though Reiki is sort of uh, originated in Japan uh, from, from a Japanese Buddhist monk, Makao Usui was his name, uh, you do not have to be Buddhist, you do not have to believe in anything really, because it's just, a, it, 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 it kind of takes over, you know, thought forms, energy is, energies around you, energy, the world is made of energy, and um, all one has to do is maybe entertain the possibility that, hey, you know, if it can help, it can help. And some people don't know uh, what has happened to them or they feel, oh, nothing really happened after a session sometimes. And then I'll get maybe emails or a phone call or text message days later that, oh my God, I don't know what happened, but I am feeling more calm. I am feeling more open. I, I slept really well, whatever it may be. And because it's just the fact that it exists we don't have to believe in air and the air is there. We don't have to, you know, the nature does what it does on its own, whether we believe in it or not. Yes, that's true. And uh, that, that's a very good way to explain it. Um, I highly recommend Lori's services. She does have a business in this. And I don't know if you prefer to do this, but I've even done remote healings with you. I do. Uh, and do do, it, it works the same. It does. Thank you for saying that because, you know, I know people are skeptical and I know people go, ooh, woo, woo stuff. And the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, to get a little esoteric, um, energy and thought forms go faster than the speed of light. It is already there. There is no, there is no separation in the time-space continuum. If I want to get a little quantum, I know mm -hmm. that's a little out there for some people, but it's true. If you've ever thought a thought and somebody calls you up and go, oh my God, I was just thinking of you. That's exactly how the energy travels and works. And when, if you are willing, and so what we call distance Reiki sessions, I, we have a conversation over the, over the phone. We talk about what the intention is and we set up a time. And then I, uh, m the person receiving on the receiving end agrees to quietly just lie down or meditate or just uh, if they wanna fall asleep, during an hour's time, light a candle, play some music, and then I go and I and I uh, focus on uh, giving a distance uh, session, envisioning the person there, and I do a full session in my Reiki room on that the ethereal body, if you will, the astral body of that person that I'm working on, and the results have been for people really incredible, and it's been um, a beautiful uh, exchange of uh, energy to be able to, to be uh, of assistance to someone in that way. It's a beautiful experience. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and I'd like to point out too, that if you're actually having a session in person, there's no touch involved. It's, a, it's an energy field thing. So that's how it works anyway. And fun fact, I even had a, a Reiki session from Greece because I knew somebody <laughs> who did it there. 
<laughs> and uh, so I had before I had gotten a I distance one that. from you, I had gotten one before. So uh, yeah, we've we've done it in several different ways, and I've appreciated it so much. Um, how how do you think that this could help um, entertainers? Well, not only Reiki, but uh, meditation that I'm a big fan of and have, you know, done off and on for many years and most recently have really committed to um, being dedicated to it. You know, uh, meditation and which Reiki is similar in, in bringing the minds, you know, the focus to the front of the mind. We as entertainers, right, and, and artists, creative beings, uh, which is what I call myself, a creative uh, uh, solopreneur, if you will. Oh, cute. Utilizing, Love that. Yeah, my, my talents, my gifts that I believe I'm here to share with the world. But the best way to do that is to be as authentic as we can. And sometimes when we let maybe anxiety or stress lack of confidence or uh, too many other things pulling our focus and a lot of chaos going on. We need a tool that we can utilize uh, to ground us, to focus us, to open up the channels of that creative thought and creative energy to flow through us, the confidence to go out there on stage or have an interview or have an audition or uh, open up our imagination and our creative minds uh, for that energy to flow to be the best authentic artists that we can possibly be and to know ourselves. And the best way to do that, in my experience, has been to really uh, allow myself, even if it's just five minutes a day, um, to be quiet, be still, to breathe, use breath work, use visualization, use um, maybe uh, affirmations or mantras, if you will, uh, positive thought idea form uh, mm -hmm. to, to kind of allow you to calm down and broaden your your perspective uh, beyond uh, our own selves and uh, uh, aligning with whatever that is for you that is greater than ourself and sort of get in tune, right? And let that mm -hmm. energy start to flow. And when we do that on a regular basis, we find that our own creativity and our own confidence and our own knowingness of who we are as artists begins to really um, give us gives us permission to step out and be seen step out and be our best selves and that's kind of the best way i can describe it in this moment <laughs> I it is that, it uh, is interesting because it's true when you meditate you're there for a thoughtful positive purpose yes. so when you sit down to do that that's your intention so Obviously, we are seeing a kind of a better version of ourself, a better version of the world, whatever it is that we're meditating about. So um, I, I do understand what you're saying there, uh, how that works. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, technique in, uh, in the acting world uh, is to be centered, to be, um, be still with yourself. Uh, stay with yourself as you as you will if you want to uh, with when you're in a moment of a scene or a moment a dramatic moment or or a, a transition of a of a of a beat you to stay with yourself to stay grounded and it becomes the the point of concentration through breath and relaxation which interestingly enough is very similar to the techniques of meditation and so if you bring that into the, your creative world it's it's really profound and powerful you know why it's profound and powerful what just dawned on me is that a lot of times as performers we're put into these very um scary situations right where we have to open up and we have to give ourselves in a way that m might not feel comfortable to everybody and also i think a lot of performers have some insecurities right that they're they're maybe not what everybody wants them to be so uh this technique is really good specifically for entertainers i think in that realm as well absolutely i find it to be one of the most powerful tools because when we can i'm gonna when we can be forgiving of ourselves compassionate to ourselves and be grounded again, using our breath work and as singers, mm -hmm. our breath is everything. As actors, our breath is everything. And when it's stuck, when it's, we then 
start to get into our head. When we get into our head, we get into what other people are thinking. And the, you know, the fears and the insecurities are really just thoughts and feelings that are not necessarily true. And just sometimes things, blocks and, 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 you know, stumbling blocks, if you will, that get in our own way. And when we can settle down and use the meditative qualities and tools to, to help us re ground, refocus, and reclaim our own power, if you will, then uh, we can once again, like I said, step out and allow ourselves to be seen in our vulnerability with confidence and with um, joy and uh, free-flowing energy. You know what? I, <laughs> I think after this video, I'm going to order a session from you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I'm going to put this um, beautiful picture of you up real quick of, of you as an actress. Um, you know, you, you've you. just become so um, accomplished in your career. And I've always been so proud of you getting Thank awards you. And, and all kinds of things oh, I always gosh. see. It's amazing. Thank you. I'm, I'm humbled for you to say that. I appreciate it. I need to, do, I do need to get my hair cut. You know, Don't we all? I finally go did go my, my hairdresser, but that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> it is. It's kind of nice not to have to care about oh, these goodness. things that are, you know, for women, yeah. especially we have this whole mask about, you know, having to have the nails and the hair and the skin and all, you know, the makeup and all this stuff. And it's, um, it's kind of nice to not have to do that for a while. Yeah, you know? it's nice to just let it be. It is mm -hmm. what it is. And it's all good, no matter what. <laughs> it is. And, and maybe people will learn to love us just the way we are. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, uh, oh, you know what? I, I, I hope it's okay. I want to put another little plug. Is, do I have, is that all right with you? Absolutely. I have a, a, a podcast drama mm -hmm. uh, that's coming out that I was a part of. Oh. I'm in four, four episodes. It's called Making the Cut. Mm. And uh, three episodes have, have aired already. Um, but I would love if you guys are interested in it's a, it's based on a novel or an autobiography rather of a, um, a doctor who was born in Cairo and then went to Europe and became a renowned surgeon. And it's was kind of uh, adapted from his uh, autobiography into a sort of a drama. And uh, I get to play... Um, an Irish nurse during the war that he kind of has an affair with. So anyway, but it's a, it, it's a fun new way and, and to, for me as an actress to be able to express myself. And uh, I was thrilled to be able to be part of it. So it's on Spotify, apple.com called making the cut. So if anybody's interested, check it out. <laughs> okay. We'll try to get that link and put it below with all your other links as well. Everybody, thank you so much to Lori Russo for coming on board and um, helping us out at On the Edge Entertainment. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Cody. I'm so proud of you and happy for you and much success on this, I think, really needed and wonderful podcast that you've created. So I love you. Thank you. I love you too. And I'll call you for a session. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>